I love my Instant Pot so much that I recently got a new tool, accessory for it. So I'm excited to try out a recipe using it. So today I am sharing another Instant Pot recipe and this one with this product you can cook two things at one time within your Instant Pot. I love it. Whether it's a full meal or extras of everything, two desserts, so many possibilities. So I am actually going to be cooking lunch because my younger kids are at school. I can eat more grown-up things, I guess. Usually I eat whatever the kids eat, but now that they're off to school, I get to focus on what I really want to eat for lunch. So I actually picked something that my older daughter likes, but I like as well. So let's get into this new product and new recipe that I'm excited to try. I am really excited to try something new in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna have a link to this stackable set down below, but this is from Cook On. It is a pressure cooker instant pan. You guys can see there. So you could cook two things at once. There's so many possibilities, but today I am actually making lunch for my husband, my daughter and I, and we are going to be making some chicken and rice. I have everything out and washed, and what I love about this is it's awesome for cooking two at once but you can steam in it as well so it's got this steamer lid and you can just cook one thing at a time also if you guys have not tried pot in pot it's pip if you're looking up recipes there's tons available lots of desserts but it's called it stands pip stands for pot in pot cooking and you could just use one of these pots at a time all right, so like I said, I am just going to be making chicken and rice, and you can do whatever you want on your chicken. I actually found this at Walmart, and my daughter absolutely loves the Japanese culture. She is really into it. She's learning to speak the language. She hopes one day to go visit the country, so I figured this would be fun to have for lunch today, and this is just a seasoning packet that I'm gonna go ahead and mix onto my chicken and then I'm just cooking jasmine rice and nothing fancy. Now with this, so I'm not going to be using the steamer lid but I am going to be using both pots. But as with anything in the Instant Pot, it needs water to come to pressure. So what we're going to do first, whoops, is just go ahead and put two cups of water into the bottom of the pot. All right, so we are putting our rice in the bottom pan. The bottom pan is a little bit bigger than the top pan. So I've got two cups of rice here. I'm just gonna pour that in. And I'm putting four cups of water. Now, if you like your rice more on the chewy side, I would just do three cups, but I really like my rice well done, nice and cooked. So I'm doing four cups. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it around a little bit. Probably not needed, but it's just a habit of mine. I stir everything. So this is what the little carrier, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a trivet um, that it came with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my rice on here because we're not going to close it up or put it in the pot until everything is done and ready. So I'm gonna put this right here on the center and then I'm gonna go ahead and open, open up my chicken and get that set and we're gonna put the chicken in this one. All right, I've got my chicken in here and the marinade that I'm using. Again, you guys can use whatever kind of marinade you want. I could have even put the marinade on the chicken and let it soak or get the flavors all combined overnight or for a few hours, but I am just whipping it up right now. So I've got my chicken, my marinade. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on, and then we're gonna put this on top of the rice. We're gonna close it up. Now it's locked, and I'm gonna set it in my Instant Pot. Nice and easy. 
All right, so I am going to get my lid on and make sure it is sealing. And we are going to cook it on manual for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, we are going to do a natural release just to give the chicken a little bit longer to cook. Natural release means I am not going to turn the nozzle to venting when the 10 minute timer comes up. Instead, I am just going to keep it on warm. Your Instant Pot, when it's done, it'll automatically go to warm. And I'm just gonna let it do that until the little button right here that will pop up when the pressure is there. By natural releasing, you just let it go, stay on warm until that pin drops back down. Okay, natural release has been going on for 15 minutes and I don't wanna wait any longer. <laughs> so it is still up, which means there's still pressure in here, so be careful, but I'm gonna go ahead and quick release the rest. All right, that took only about a minute two minutes, <laughs> just went to 17. So this is going to be super hot. I've got my oven mitt here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the pot and open it up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off so I can look at my rice. Ooh, definitely no more than four cups of rice in here. So I'm gonna give that a stir and then I'm gonna take the top off of this and I'm going to shred my chicken just using two forks. I only use my hand mixer to shred when it's things that are in a bigger bowl. If I use my hand mixer in this thing, it would get all over the place. All right, lunch is served. That chicken cooked so well. Next time, I'm definitely gonna try putting three in there. I just wanted to make sure that that was enough time to cook it, and it definitely was, but I cannot wait to dive into this. Again, you guys can use any marinade you want on your chicken, but the rice came out perfect, and I've got plenty to save for another meal. I love freezing rice. I love whenever I'm cooking rice, I always cook more than I need. Pop the rest in the freezer and you're already ready for your next meal. So again, I'm using this new stackable set from Cook On. I will have a link down below, but I'm gonna go eat and enjoy my lunch. All right, I'm definitely making that again. I'm really excited to try different marinades on the chicken and that rice that turned out better than when I actually cook rice in the Instant Pot. I guess because it's such a small pan and the rice really has to you know, fluff up with the water, I don't know. But it definitely turned out better than when I cook rice just in the Instant Pot. So I'm super excited. I'm really looking forward to trying different recipes with this. If you guys have used this product or something similar, some kind of stacking dish, let me know what you guys made down below because I'm really, like I said, looking forward to it. I love using my Instant Pot and just having more accessories to try new things makes it that much better. So I will have the link to this product down below if you guys wanna check it out. Other than that, give this video a big thumbs up if you love Instant Pot recipes because I do have some more coming up always every month. If you are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.